I, uh, I'm very excited in general. Next month, I'm celebrating my one-year wedding anniversary. <laughs> which uh, I haven't talked to my wife in about eight hours, actually, which is, uh, at this point, a little bit longer than I like to leave her alone with her thoughts. Because uh, we're still starting out, so my plan is basically just every morning I wake up and convince her once again, this is a really good idea, <laughs> and we can't return our wedding gifts, so... <laughs> Hopefully it all works out. I love being married though, it's great. It's like dating with consequences. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And people ask me like, why did you get married? Why'd you propose to your wife? And there are a lot of reasons, definitely, but really chief among them is that my wife is smarter than I am. And if you can date somebody smarter, I highly recommend doing that. It is, it's a fantastic way to go. Just surround yourself with smart people in general, if you can. I know dumb people are fun. I'm not, not gonna deny that. And if you're dumb, thank you. It's really entertaining for everybody else. But, but if you swap out your dumb friends for smart friends, it's a lot less funny, but you're gonna cut way down on the number of text messages you get at two in the morning. I guarantee you that. Nobody asks for $200 that you can't ask about or anything, that's gone, so. And if you can date somebody smarter than you, I highly recommend doing that. As a matter of fact, if you're dating somebody here tonight, uh, one of you is smarter than the other. <laughs> That's just a fact. No two people get together that are the exact same level of intelligence. One person is gonna be smart. As a matter of fact, clap if you think you're the smart person in your relationship. <laughs> Boy, was that a mixed bag. That was, uh... <laughs> I like there were a handful of people out there that are like, nope, the smart person doesn't clap right here. I know that. This is, uh, <laughs> this is a trap. That was so interesting to watch. Had, I saw some couples where both people were clapping. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> no, we're not done talking about this, actually. We're going to talk about this on the way home. As a matter of fact. I also saw some couples where people were definitely together and neither person was clapping. Which is cute, because that can mean one of two things. There's option A, which could be like, hey, I'm not clapping because I think that you're smart. Oh, this way you're not clapping because you think that I'm smart. Well, that's just... <laughs> so, do you want to get some gelato on the way home? Because this is... Just... Do you want to adopt a puppy? We're wonderful. <laughs> that's possible. That could exist as option A. But you have to admit, could also be option B which is like, hey, I'm not clapping because I think you're, oh. And you're not clapping because you think, oh. All right. Are we dumb? I didn't know that. That's not, that's not good. No, I don't remember where we parked the car. Actually, that's not. Date smarter, if you possibly can. And I say smart and not clever, because there's, a big difference between smart people and clever people. There are a couple of people nodding out there who've dated clever people before. <laughs> and right now, if you're sitting there and you're like, I'm not sure if the person I'm with is smart or clever. Well, they're clever. That's how, <laughs> that's how they work. But it's just a totally different thing between dating smart and clever people. And it really comes out when you get into any sort of argument. Like, if I get in an argument with my wife, who's smarter than me, it usually plays out just kind of like, hey, you know what, sweetie, I think I'm right. And then she'll say, no, actually, I think I'm right. And I'll be like, fine, you tell me why you think you're right. And then she'll list a bunch of facts. <laughs> and I'll say, but... And that's it. And it's, um, <laughs> it's over, it's really quick, but there's a lot of time left in the evening to get more things wrong, which is very helpful. But clever people, it's a totally different thing. It's a totally different way of arguing because clever people don't use facts. They just bring up times that you've been wrong in the past to completely invalidate your argument. Somebody had experience with this before? It's like trying to date a negative political attack ad against you. You get no one's argument. So when you come out and you're like, hey, sweetheart, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go hang out with the guys tonight, watch the game. I'm pretty sure I told you about this last week. Then she comes back with, oh really? Drew Barth says that he's pretty sure he mentioned last week he was going out with the guys tonight. 
But isn't this also the same Drew Barth that was pretty sure the movie started at 8.15 last night? <laughs> and we know how that one turned out. <laughs> and isn't this the same Drew Barth that was pretty sure he ordered more flea medicine for the cats online? <laughs> Wrong again. <laughs> Are we really going to trust a man who doesn't even know what drawer the big spoons go in? <laughs> Don't. This Thursday, vote no on Drew going out and having a good time with his friends. Because Drew Barth, wrong on big spoons, wrong on everything. Subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.